Title, Exxon and Nucor Unite for CO2 Capturing Crusade in Louisiana, a Green Leap or a Fossil Fuel Facade. TLDR. Exxon, the oil titan, and Nucor, a steel heavyweight, are joining forces to trap, haul, and store carbon dioxide emissions from a Louisiana plant. Given the enormous carbon footprint of metals production, this deal is a big deal. But starting only in 2026, and capturing only 800,000 metric tons of CO2 a year, the green collaboration. Exxon and Nucor, making a bold move or just playing a PR card? They've signed a pact to trap, transport, and store CO2 emissions from a convent, Louisiana plant. Makes you think, doesn't it? How bad has the situation gotten that even the oil and steel bigwigs are trying to fix the mess? Or is it just another smokescreen to shift the focus from the real issues? It's no secret that metals production is a major carbon offender. The industry is a beast to decarbonize, given the high heat requirements. So any initiative, even a seemingly small step, could potentially have big implications for our environment. But hey, do Exxon and Nucor deserve a green badge for this or is this merely a drop in the ocean? The weight and the weight. Interestingly, this carbon trapping crusade is set to kick off only in 2026. It begs the question, why the long wait? Is it technical challenges or bureaucratic red tape? Or perhaps it's a tactical delay to continue profiting off the status quo? And once it does start, they plan to capture up to 800,000 metric tons of CO2 annually from the plant. That's a pretty decent figure, right? Well, let's put it into perspective. An average passenger vehicle emits about 4.6 metric tons of carbon dioxide per year. So, this operation would essentially offset the annual emissions of about 174,000 cars. Sounds impressive, until you realize there are over a billion cars on the road worldwide. Legal Disclaimer Before we get into any more details, let's get one thing straight. This ain't investment advice, health advice, or any other kind of advice. It's just some edgy, thought-provoking news. So, put away your lawyers and let's keep the conversation going questioning the motives. But let's not get lost in the numbers. The real question is, are these companies genuinely committed to the green cause, or is this just another way to keep the environmentalists at bay while they carry on business as usual? The deal certainly positions Exxon and Nucor as taking initiative towards environmental responsibility. It may even prompt other industry giants to follow suit. But is this enough? Is it too little, too late? And is it driven by genuine concern or the fear of backlash and regulations? Provoking thoughts. In the end, Exxon and Nucor's deal to trap, transport, and store CO2 emissions is a step, whether small or large, in a direction that many have been urging for years. Whether it